Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, I've got 37 Bolos coming your way. These are items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell high. These are from 12 different featured members of my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. That means they have joined memberships to for the perks to be featured in videos. So the first one comes from Mom's Nose Treasure. She does not have a YouTube channel. She has an eBay store, and I will link that down in the description. All of the links to all of the channels and all of the eBay stores are linked down below. So be sure to go check out those channels. Um, in this video, I'm basically going to tell you where they got the item, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. And again, these are items that resellers should be looking for. So Mom's Nose Treasures, this is her her eBay store and lots of variety, lots of cool stuff. Um, very, very cool. I'm just going to kind of scroll here so you guys can check it out. Now, I don't know if you know, but you can follow eBay stores and then you get notifications when they list new items. So feel free to follow any of these stores down below. Um, this item is very, very cool. It is a handmade Guatemalan Mayan nativity set. Um, they're clay sculptures, which is just really, really, really neat. Um, super, super cool there. She got this at an artisan market, um, paid $20 for it, and she took a best offer of $95 on those, and the buyer paid shipping. A lot of times, like handmade, artisan made, different art things can do very well. This is a 36 inch jumbo raggedy Ann. It is a uh, vintage. And let me show you these pictures. Check it out. Um, yeah, Raggedy Ann definitely varies. So definitely look it up. But this one sold for um, $43.25 best offer. And she actually picked this up in a plush lot from Donatella Bottolino. Um, it was multiple items. She paid $60 total for the lot and um, free shipping. So over on Donatella Bottolino's channel, she sells wholesale to um, resellers. And one of the things she sells a lot of is plush. Um, she loves selling plush. So check it out. And I will have a plush unboxing coming soon on my channel. Actually, two of them that I purchased from Donatella Bottolino. So stay tuned. Donna's linked down in the description also. All right. So Raggedy Ann. Who knew? Did you know about Raggedy Ann? This My Little Pony. It's from 1981. It is Romper Room My Pretty Pony Peachy. So I use Google Lens when I find these because I don't know any of the ponies, but a lot of times I pretty sure that whatever is on their hiney here is a good indicator of which pony it is. So this one, um, she got at a thrift store for $5.99 and it took less than a week to sell and it sold for $200. The next item comes from Three Ducks Resale. And that is her eBay. She doesn't have a store. So it's just um, when you click on the link down below, it's going to take you into this format. And I'm just going to kind of scroll through again, lots of hard goods, lots of really different, unique items. Um, really cool store. So definitely check it out. And let's see what she sold. She sold this Atlanta Braves. It is a Chipper Jones Rescue bobblehead. So if you guys are not looking up bobbleheads when you see them, you should definitely do that. They can go for big money. Um, a friend of mine, uh, I featured it in another video. It actually hasn't been released yet, but it's coming soon. Some bobbleheads that he sold for crazy money. So stay tuned for that. It'll be um, featured member Hodge Podge. So that should be coming in the future. Or I may have already posted it. I'm not sure which one I'll post first. So look for that one. Uh, this came from the Goodwill, paid $2 for it, and it sold for $67 on auction and the buyer paid shipping. 
The next item that sold is this, um, they're vintage made in Austria wood ornaments. They're jointed, movable. I think you could also call that articulated maybe. But look how cool these are. Uh, she got these free and they sold for $50 and the buyer paid shipping. Lots of items that are unexpected, you know, that I probably would have walked past. Now, this one, she said Mario Golf. Um, it's Nintendo GameCube. She said she picks these up and sells them often. She got this at a thrift store for $3, and this one sold on auction for $36 plus shipping. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm not really big on media. There's certain media I know to pick up. But there is a barcode on the back and all you have to do is scan that and it's really easy to see what they're going for. So definitely um, take the time to do to do that if you see something that you think could be rare or hard to find. Ozark, Ozark Mountain Reseller. Again, no YouTube channel, but really fun store. Um, looks like she's got some jewelry lots, um, estate junk drawer jewelry. So um, a lot of people don't like to just sell jewelry and they'll lot it up. It's just easier or they'll cherry pick it and then sell this other stuff to crafters. So, all right, let's see what we got here. She sold this, uh-oh, did I do it again? Here we go. This Fenton art glass vase. And it is amethyst purple, 11 inches tall. It's ribbed and fluted. So great keywords there. Uh, I like it when I see like fluted because that's a great keyword that I probably wouldn't have known. This ended up selling on best offer for $35.99 and she paid a dollar for that. So that's a really great return on the money. The next item is this vintage Native American woven flat grass basket. It's um, large and it says Southwest is the key word here. I'm just going to show you kind of some of the photos. This is definitely something I would have probably walked right past. Uh, she got this at a thrift store for $5, took two weeks to sell, and she took a best offer of $50 plus shipping. The next item that sold is this Fox Lovey. Um, Parents' Choice Fox Lovey. If you guys are not looking up these security blankets, definitely look them up when you see them. They range from bread and butter. Some of them go for $100 or over $100, but um, they can be big money. Uh, this one is new, new without tags. And it looks like she got this at a garage sale for $0.50 cents and sold it for $28.79 plus shipping. The next item that sold is coming to you from Vish. This, again, no eBay store, but if you click on the link below, it's going to take you into the list that I have here. Looky here, another lovey. Lots of fun items for sale. So you can check her out down below, and we are going to see what she sold here. This is two vintage Catherine Holm Norway Lotus enamelware bowls. These are replacement bowls. And I don't know about you, but I love the color. I think these are so pretty. Uh, she got these at the Goodwill for $1.99 and they sold for $153.50. How amazing is that? Let me see if I can find. Oh, it's all blurry. Sorry, I was hoping. Looks like it's some sort of sticker. I didn't know if they were signed. That's what I was looking for. Vintage Rosemary Taylor signed ceramic Andro figurine, MCM, which is mid-century modern, 1950s. How funny is that little guy? What is it? I'm still, I guess it's just a figurine. Is it supposed to be like a mushroom? Huh. Interesting, right? I probably would have walked right past it. Uh, let's see. Rosemary Head, $1.99. Not sure where she got it and sold it for $94.50. So what is this thing? It's got holes in the top, which makes me feel like it has some sort of function. Let me know in the comments if you know. The next item she sold is this Tiffany & Company race car set. How cute are these little dishes? So there's this one with the race cars 
and this one with the little fire station Dalmatian dog. And she ended up, uh, let's see, she got these at the Goodwill for $11, so probably $5.50 each set. And she ended up taking a best offer for both of them to the same buyer for $108. So those are really, really cute. Here is what the bottom looks like. Tiffany Fire Station, made in Japan. I definitely would have picked those up. What a great find. And they don't even, they don't look super special. You know, you wouldn't think they were Tiffany and company. That is amazing. The next item comes from Lola's Trunk Treasures. And again, just great eBay stores, you guys. You got to go check them out. One thing she does here is people, I've told you guys before that people will buy games and then they part them out. So let me show you this. This is Quirkle. So what she's done is she has taken this and then you go and you select the shape that you need. So let's say I need a square and I need it to be green. That's the piece I'm missing. So it's $1.45 plus shipping. So um, she has sold 27 of these. And hopefully I don't get in trouble for bringing this up. <laughs> but anyway, um, I tell you guys all the time that people will do this. So what she does probably is she looks for this game and then she just adds quantity. So you, not necessarily this game, but you can do this with any game. Now, what I will tell you is it takes a lot of time. But once you create the, the listing, you can just go in and edit the quantity. So a lot of people will do this. And there, some people make a living just from that. You know, that's what their, their thing is. That's what they look for. Okay, David Winter Cottages. Uh, what is this? Oh, okay. It's a little cottage. Cool. She got this at, she bought 12 of them and they ranged from five to $10 each. I'm not sure where she got it, but this one sold for $95. All right. The next one, Vilroy and Bach, uh, country collection, lemon tree. These came from the Goodwill. She paid $12 and they sold for $154.50 with five bids. Again, right here is what you're looking for on the back. Um, I've heard of this brand. I've seen other Bolo items in that brand. I'm not sure if they're all created equal or if the pattern um, makes a difference. So definitely look them up if you see them. The next item she sold are these Nest Animated Hero Classic. Uh, looks like they're DVDs. And it looks like it might be a cartoon and it, the presidents, the different, well, maybe not Abraham Lincoln. I saw that one, but no, Hmm. Hero, hero classic. So people that they Marco Polo, huh? Harriet Tubman, Tubman, <gasps> the Wright brothers. So never heard of it. Nest animated hero classics. So be on the lookout. $1.29 each at the Goodwill and sold these for $124.99. And it looks like they are brand new and sealed, which, you know, definitely brings up the value. She did a great job with her pictures, showing the sides, showing the fronts. So great job there. The next item comes from 1987 Ventures Tracy YouTube channel. And she is newer to YouTube. She um, is currently sitting at almost 200 subs. So you guys go show her some love with a sub. And she recently did a video on how she ships breakables. Now, Antique, this is Vilroy and Bach again. So we just talked about that in the last one. But this one is a mug. Let's see, right here. Now that looks a little fancier than those plates. I probably would have picked this one up. It looks like it's got a chip there and everything. Paid $2 at a thrift store and took a best offer of a hundred bucks for that mug and the buyer paid shipping. The next item she sold is this Star Wars. Okay, so I was telling you guys about the glassware. So she does a video and she shows you how she shipped these glasses. So she'll have to let us know in the comments if they made it safely. I always wonder that when people do videos, uh, shipping videos, I'm like, oh, I wonder if it made it safe, you know, because we all have our different ways of shipping. 
Um, she doesn't use bubble wrap. So I was like, no bubble wrap. I have got to see this. All right. Star Wars Empire Strikes Back. These are Burger King glasses. She sold them all to one person for a total of $70 and the buyer paid shipping. And these came from an estate sale box lot. So where you go and you just buy the whole box. So you get really good prices when you do that. This Napco cat burglar. How cute is that? Um, anthropomorphic. Did I say that right? Anthropomorphic? I don't know. I don't know if I'm saying that right. But anyway, um, this one sold for best offer of 38. And again, she got it in a box lot at an estate sale. The whole box was $10. And these little figurines are just darling. This one is marked right here on the bottom. I'm guessing she maybe used Google Lens to find this because I don't see where it's marked Napco. So she probably had to Google Lens it to find that out and then check for um, the markings. So Google Lens is great. But it's a little planter. You see the top of its head? It's darling. The next item comes from Flippin' Palettes. And I'm supposed to be on their YouTube channel, but for some reason I opened up their eBay store. They do have a YouTube channel also. And they recently put out some videos. Uh, they got suspended for three days and they could not, I don't think they could list anything, but uh, they had an item. It's a pallet item that cannot be shipped internationally. So definitely go check out that video so that you guys, if you sell pallet stuff, that you don't make that same mistake. Uh, the last I looked, it had over 20,000 views. So super exciting for them. So definitely subscribe to their YouTube channel. It will be linked down below. But the whole focus of their store is pretty much palette items. They do have some clothing. Can't believe I forgot to pull up their channel. Okay. This is a lot of six L'Oreal Excellence Cream Conditioner. Now, so like I said, they buy palettes. They buy this stuff in bulk. And the cost of goods is divided out by the palette. So I'm not sure what the cost of goods was for this, but they lotted these up. But the key to palettes is you're buying in bulk. So you're creating one listing multi-quantity. I don't do palettes. I have no interest in palettes. Like that does not excite me. But some people love palettes and do amazing with them. And this is one channel, Flip In Palettes, Flip In Palettes, that really knows their stuff. So this sold for $28.50 and they have sold 16 of them. So do you see how easy it is? You list one listing and you have 16 that sell. So that's great profits over and over and over again. Um, I like the treasure hunt. I like to go out to the thrift stores and the garage sales and try to find the treasures. But I'm telling you, there's money here. Uh, six tubes of Clariol, nice and easy. And again, sold 14 of them for $26.50 plus shipping. This next item is Tic Tac Gum. And um, discontinued gum. People will, they want it. They can't find it at the store. So where do they turn? They turn to eBay. Now, if it is expired, I'm pretty sure that you have to sell it under collectibles. Don't quote me on that. I think that's what Farm Girl Scavenger Noel told me um, because it's expired. But a lot of them have Best Buy. So any if anybody knows in the comments, let me know. If it says Best Buy, what is the expiration date? Because Best Buy just means it tastes better if you sell it by that date doesn't necessarily mean it's bad by that date, right? All right. Feedback in the comments for anybody that sells this stuff. They sold four of these for $22.99 plus shipping. All right. The next item comes from Leo's Treasures. Again, eBay store here. Got some plush, super cute plush. Oh my goodness. I love plush. Look at this little vintage Santa. Lots of cool items. You guys are going to be busy looking at eBay stores, right? Okay, this one is this Alaskan Brewing Company. It is a killer whale beer tap. And she got this in a box lot for $20. 
So her cost of goods was about 75 cents and she took a best offer of $50 on this plus shipping. The next item is, I did it again. I apologize. Um, it's supposed to close out the store when I do it, but for some reason it left the tabs up. So if I forgot to, to close out that tab, I apologize about that. Okay, you guys, vintage pencils. These are jet black art pencils. And these came from an estate sale, $2 for a whole lot. So cost of goods was about 40 cents. And these sold for $39.16 plus shipping. Eberhard Faber uh, is the brand. So if you see vintage pencils, especially if they're still in the original packaging, those can definitely be a bolo. Definitely something you want to look up. The next item is this plush cat. It is a Build-A-Bear Promise Pet. And this one came from the Goodwill Bins, approximately a dollar in this, and took a best offer of $60 plus shipping. So it looks like it's got a little Promise Pets tag on it. Um, I'm not sure if this was just like a limited run, guessing it's retired, but if you see Promise Pets, definitely look it up. The next item comes from the Thrifty Nichols. Now, she has antique, um, like at a market, flea market, or what is it called? A booth. <laughs> she has booths. I think just one. But she also sells on eBay. And she's got what sold videos over here on her channel. She talks about things that she sells in her booth, which those videos are really, really cool because you're getting to see things that people are going into a booth and buying. So those of you that are thinking about uh, maybe considering that as another stream of income. Doesn't hurt to have your too many streams of income, right? Not all your all your eggs in one basket. Mitchell and Ness, Michael Jordan, Bowles Jersey. She got this at a garage sale for $25 and took a best offer of $125 plus shipping. That's another thing you want to look up is jerseys. I'm not, I don't know too much about them. Um, but some people have made really good money selling them. The next item is this vintage yellow Augusta National member logo bucket hat. She put not masters so that people didn't get confused with the, the masters hats. So it's a golf derby hat. Check it out. Oh my goodness. Can you believe it? Would you have picked this up or walked right by it? It's got some light staining. Uh, she got this at... An estate sale for $1.25 and took a best offer of $90. All right, this next item is a, um, what is this? Applique Large Flag by Evergreen. Again, it's vintage. And she got this for $4.99 at the Goodwill. And she took a best offer of $55 for that. So that's what it looks like. The next item comes from Got Junk in Our Trunk, and she is creeping up on a 1,000 subscribers, you guys. So let's help her get there. She um, used to do a lot of estate sales. Like, you know, when you go to those estate sales and there's somebody running it, she used to do that. So she is super knowledgeable. She's got great what sold videos. They're, you know, roughly three to five minutes, and it's a different format than I do. But um, Check it out because you just might like it because they're quick and you get a lot of info quickly. Let's see what she sold here. She sold this vintage handmade grandmother's flower garden quilt. It's 38 by 38 and it's a wall hanging. And this she paid $2 at a yard sale and took a best offer of $50 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage new old stock. That's NOS if you don't know. 1988 Coca-Cola Kohler and it is a it's got a radio attached to it and this one came from a yard sale for ten dollars and took a best offer of 50 plus shipping the next item is this vintage Victorian Art Nueve style amethyst paste sash pin brooch so let me show you here what it looks like now one way to know that a pin is vintage is if the pin sticks out further than the little area that it hooks into. That's what I've been told. 
I am by no means a jewelry expert. That is one thing that I do know to look for. You see how it sticks out further? And this one looks really old because it has the a different type of, uh, I don't, closure. Yeah, we'll call it closure. And then you got the ruler here to, to show how big it is. So a very, very cool piece. She got this um, from a thrift store for $2.99. It sold within 24 hours for a best offer of $40. The next one comes from Gail's Resale NC. Again, large variety. She has hard goods and clothing in her store. Again, that will be linked down in the description. And she sells on multiple platforms as well. So she sold these two vintage glossy black cats with green eyes, mid-century modern. She got these free from her sister and took a best offer of $40 plus shipping. This item she sold on Poshmark and Gail's new underscore VTG for vintage, majestic, authentic Boston Red Sox jacket. And this one she got at a yard sale for two bucks and sold it for $79 plus shipping on Poshmark. The next item is this Franklin Mint Fabulous 50s Drive-In Mechanical Bank. And this one sold on Mercari for $82 plus shipping. And she got this at an auction for $10. You guys, if you are not selling on multiple platforms, I highly recommend it. Um, different eyes on your items is definitely a good idea. And um, I cross post with lists perfectly. I start my items on eBay and then cross post to Mercari and Poshmark. Sometimes Etsy, sometimes Facebook, but those are my three main platforms. eBay is my number one. Um, if you decide you want to try lists perfectly, you can use coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word, and that'll get you 30% off your first month. I do have a demo video on that and it is linked down in the description of the video if you want to check that out. The next item comes from Farm Girl Scavenger Noel, who is in the process of moving right now. She bought um, a house that she's fixing up. So she's recently been doing footage on fixing up the house. So check those videos out. They're fantastic. She even found something hidden in the attic, which is super cool. All right. She sold this and she is a bolo finder, you guys. So sub her up. Vintage 1984 Kenner Seaweeds Bubble Baby Swirl Mermaid Doll Figurine. How funny is this? She got this at the Goodwill Bins and it sold for $62.99 plus shipping. It's just a little mermaid. And if I remember correctly, she used Google Lens to figure out what it was. These little toys, some of them can go for crazy money. The next item she sold is this vintage 1930s Catholic Art Deco Golden Mirror Wood Cross Crucifix. And she got this at an estate sale for pennies. And she sold it for $89.99 best offer plus shipping. The next item is this Trader Joe's reusable bag sailing the culinary seas steampunk grocery tote shop. Um, she sold four of these for $18.99 each. And these also came from the Goodwill bins. So she has a whole video where she talks about reusable bags and how much they go for. So definitely check that out on her channel. And the last item she sold is this Lord and Taylor vintage green dog handle water pitcher. And this came from an estate sale for $1 and she sold it for $109.99. And she went ahead and sent me four and let me pick three, but I went ahead and showed you all four because I thought they were all four fantastic. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. If you made it this far, leave me a hat emoji in the comments. All right. Thanks for watching.